this is my current entryway. It's pretty narrow, just like most small apartments, but it serves a lot of functions. I've already installed this bamboo coat peg and done a little IKEA hack to cover the electrical panel as well as place the step stool here to make the area a little bit more functional. The entryway leads straight into the dining and living areas. The previous tenant also left a pretty decent sized shoe cabinet that serves as my miscellaneous storage. I felt the entryway was looking a little cluttered plus I wanted to clear some wall space for a gallery wall for my future art DIYs. First I began this project by removing all the decor pieces. I also realized that the picture ledge does not look proportional in relation to the other pieces and I don't like the look of the rug on the wall because it just feels a little too messy and that's not really my aesthetic. So I removed the ledge and I reinstalled it right above the peg hooks to give everything a little bit more visual weight. I also feel that the ledge here is going to be more practical as I could put my things like my face mask, sunglasses, and dog gear here as I walk through the door. Also, it works as kind of like a balancing pole, I guess you could say, when I'm putting on my shoes. Also, please note for safety, my electrician did point out where I cannot drill since this is close to the electrical panel and I took that into consideration, of course, when putting all of these things up. The wall is completely concrete, so that does add another layer of protection. And concrete is definitely not my favorite thing to drill into, but at the same time, I'm grateful that it's really good at absorbing noise so my neighbors don't complain how often I drill and hammer things in here. Afterwards, I made sure to cover up all the old drill marks with some wall putty, some sanding, and of course the same color paint. To somewhat conceal the electrical panel, I used scrap paper to visualize the size of the artwork I was planning to hang. This is actually one of my DIY projects, and I know I do have a tutorial video on YouTube so you guys can check that out. Then I took a picture hanger hook and nailed that into the wall in order to hang my artwork. Rearranging the furniture pieces before buying anything new helps me visualize what I actually need. A lot of times I realize it's more important to remove things rather than buy more. And more often than not, I realize I already have everything that I need. So I'm trying out these round rattan placemats. I knew I wanted something round to soften the space since most of the furniture and art are straight edge. Plus I really like the texture of native products. Initially, I hung these using Velcro strips that are for picture frame hanging, but they fell down after a few hours. So I ended up needing to nail these into the wall as well. Every entryway needs a mirror, and for me, I really wanted a full-length one. I got this arch design off of Shopee. It's actually a bit smaller than I expected and a lot heavier, but I still really like it. So to give the illusion of it being taller, I decided to hang the mirror on the side near the dining area so that it can reflect some of the sunlight into the darker parts of the entryway. To make the walls feel less bare while I decide what artworks I want to create for my gallery wall, I decided to place some decor on the console shoe cabinet combo. This is just a sample artwork that I wanted to do on a larger scale for the living room but I wanted to test it out first and then also I'm just using an empty frame as a placeholder for future art. This piece is actually really great for hiding all of my clutter. In the top drawers, I keep some items that I usually need within easy reach, like my dog poop bags and wet wipes, which we always need whenever we walk through the front entryway. I also use this to store my echo bags, plastics, and extra slippers for my guests. 
For finishing touches, I place my DIY macrame basket on a peg hook as a catch-all for mail or temporary items. I use dried flowers and a fake plant for additional decor pieces as this area doesn't get any sunlight. For the corner of the hallway nearest the dining area, which does get some sunlight, I decided to place my peace lily plant. This guy needs a bit of repotting, which I'll do so at a later time, but in the meantime, he is a great a low light tolerant plant to add life to this area. On the other side of my entryway is the kitchen delineated by the bar counter. I've done a separate video on how I DIY this counter and I think it adds a nice pop of color to the space as well as extra display and storage area. Overall, I use similar types of woods to tie the different spaces together. Black and gold accents such as the mirror, bar lights, and planter add a touch of sophistication to the whole area, plus plants and natural materials help make the space more inviting. And that is a quick overview of my entryway. It really does serve a lot of functions, an opening to the different areas of our apartment, a catch-all storage space, and of course, my DIY art gallery. Thanks for joining me on this mini entryway makeover, and I'll see you all in the next video.